I'm here today to talk about the Parameter Aviary System, also available in Parameter Plus. The reason for the plus is that it gives us a little bit wider structure so that when we're retrofitting a barn, we can adjust the equipment to maximize the bird number in the barn. As you can see, it's very much like half a tree. Each one is a step up with a, a place to place walk, the birds to settle themselves before they move underneath. Probably the most bird friendly aviary that I know. It has perch rails, it has step down perch rails for protection of the equipment when you fill the house. Very sturdy. I mean, as you can see, extremely well made. And in, along that theme, you'll see that where you walk here to inspect the birds, we don't have cables. We have a triangular rod. Up here we have vertical rods. So that means that you're not going to have wire fatigue. You're not going to have it go like this and an egg sit in one spot. This is three levels, nests on two levels, with a balanced amount of water feed on each of the three levels. And if you need more, we can add a, another uh, loop of feed on the top or up on the third level. So that'll get you balanced for your certifier. And that doesn't matter if it's AHA, HFAC, UEP, we can balance it to whatever the specs are of the individual certifier. The manure all goes out on belts. So it's taken to the end of the barn, normally five days or less to break the fly cycle, and then out of the barn. So you have a very, very desirable non-ammonia environment. As far as eggs, all the eggs on the first and second level roll to the nest. The third level rolls to a belt in the back that takes down to the collector. So all system eggs are collected. You can't have a system egg that doesn't go to a belt. The feeding has perches over it, perches beside it, perches in front. Again, we need to balance the house. We have to have the right amount of perch to the right amount of nest base, to the right amount of feeder, watering, and floor space. And if you get out of balance, then you've got either too much of one kind of equipment for what you need for that number of birds, or you're not maximizing the bird number. This is also available in two levels. And the reason for that is the three level is a 12 foot ceiling. If we go to two levels, you can put it in a 10 foot ceiling. What does that mean? That means you could take, say, two rows of this back to back down the middle of a broiler barn and convert it from broiler to egg laying to an aviary. And so, you know, you aren't dealing with a, a problem of a 10 foot ceiling and you have options on the broiler barn, both for the layer person that wants to increase uh, their egg numbers coming into their facility or for the broiler producer that chooses to go a different direction. The nest itself is unique and patented. And the reason is that we have it set up so that it will rock to let the birds know it's time to leave the nest, it's gonna close. And you notice it's rocking to empty any eggs onto the belt. So if there's a wear spot on the nest pad, the eggs are going onto the belt, not dumped out front here for for them to break and other birds to eat. And then eventually, of course, it closes up. So you can see it's an expeller nest. It has flaps, so it gives them the privacy. It's darker. They can back up to something to lay the egg, which is what the bird loves. But it gets the eggs out of the nest onto the belt rather than dumping them in front. If we come around to the back, what you can see is the structure of the nest. Look how simple. A solid rod down through with a roller to roll it up. No cables, no pulleys, no problems. Very simple structure to the nest. And if you look, look how heavy that is. And it can be lifted out in one piece. So no tools required, you can take it out. You can lift this up and simply crawl through it. And the reason that I bring that up is that and, and we'll look when we go around front, but when we work on the 
feeder or the watering if there's an issue, you need to be able to access it. But while we're here, let's look at the egg belt as well. A nice wide uh, 500 millimeter egg belt for the plus with holes. What are the holes for? They keep the eggs from rolling around so that you don't have eggs moving on the belt. As you go down the house, they end up holding them in one position. Now, normally what we'll do is we'll look at two of these, one this way and then back to back, one this way, maybe three feet apart. We have a service trolley that we can put here for you to use it for inspecting the upper level if you like. But what you've really got when you have this like this set up is you have a metal tree. Very friendly to your buyers because they walk in and they look at it and they go, well, that's natural. That's just like a tree in a natural environment and the chicken just works its way up. But it's metal because of biosecurity. It, it hampers any bacterial challenge. So you get the service aisle down the middle. It's extremely easy to work because you don't tend to get as many chickens here. The ability to keep the birds out from underneath and from coming over the top, that then during training period keeps birds out of the aisle. Open it up at the bottom and the front, the back, and the top if you desire. And now they can use this for square footage and you've increased the bird number in your house. And in the way of perch, in feeder, watering, nest, square footage. And if we walk around to this side, you will see that the watering lines are about 16 inches from the nest. That's because all birds like to get a drink right before or right after they lay an egg. Only place in the whole system you have water draws the bird to the nest. We, have, we use this style cup on our layers. Why do we do that? Because there's no reason to have this for a layer except to keep a free, cage-free layer from hitting the nipple. The only purpose is to keep them away so they don't bump this as they move around the cage. Who needs the bacteria that water in there and accumulated dirt will generate? So the parameter system is very bird-friendly. It very easily can be done back-to-back down the middle of a chicken house. It can be done in a 10-foot ceiling existing house or if you go three-tier in a 12-foot ceiling new house and it gives a very, very friendly bird environment. It also has nests that you can crawl through if you have to work on the feed line or the water line in the back next to the nest because that's obviously the one challenge I hear is how do I get to that? Well, you don't really get to it very well from the front so build your nest so you can just pull it out or you can crawl through it and you get to it from the back. The purpose of that is to balance your house. We want to get as many birds as we can into a given square footage so that you get the, the least cost per bird for this high quality system. Remember we use vertical metal bars, not cables, so that when you walk on it, when the birds walk on it, you don't get wire fatigue. The eggs go into the nest, they go onto the belt, and they're protected because it's all about how many grade A eggs you can ship to the plant. And with the parameter, or as I call it, like a pyramid, if you go back to back, the lighting on it is very important that you have two sets of lights underneath to reduce floor eggs. I know some people will say one, put two down there. One here, one there, and then one here, for the lower level, one here for the middle level, and of course the upper level will get the, the aisle lights, so it doesn't need any. But the more you make it bright out here and underneath, the less floor eggs you're gonna have, the more the birds will want to lay the egg in the nest. All right, I wanna talk about the collector today. The, uh, the collector is pretty well recognized as the best collector in the industry. It has no transfer plates from the belt coming in to the rods, no transfer plates from the rods to the fingers. It has a, a rod that's been specifically designed that if a wrench comes up and breaks it and it jams into the fingers, the rod breaks, not the fingers. And the fingers are very well built. They, you're not gonna find them breaking and the 
uh, eggs coming in on the rods can be uh, directed to either every level or every other level. So if you have, say, instead of a narrow belt coming in, a wide belt, you don't need to push the eggs back and forth. You can simply let them flow straight to the collector and one, one level will go to one set of fingers and the next one goes into the other set of fingers. Uh, the collector uh, then takes the eggs up. Uh, we can handle up to 12 tiers and then down the other side and they can be taken off at any height. We can take them off at the top, the bottom, or someplace in between like under a catwalk and move them to the packer or to the plant. The collector is set up to be variable speed uh, so we can run it faster or slower and it runs off a direct drive motor. So it's very simple, very straightforward. If you have something break, you simply release the spring on both sides, you pull out the rod and you re place a section of fingers. Less than five minutes, this thing could go from being broke to being totally repaired and ready to collect eggs again. Uh, the feet are made out of stainless steel so that any uh, part of the equipment that touches the manure or the dusty environment is not going to rust on you. And we do offer the whole collector as well in stainless steel and have had multiple sales for use in processing plants where they wash it down every day. In addition to that, with the Petraco controller, we also offer egg counters. Obviously, we can either do it on the collector so that we can count how many in total are coming across or we can do it on individual egg belts. So we know how many eggs came out of every level of every row. Obviously more expensive if you do the egg belts, but you can set it up so that now you know by exception if you're getting less than 10% less eggs from any particular row or level in the house. And now you know you better check. You might have a feed problem, you might have a water problem. So again, capability to give you a very high level of control within the house. Uh, of course, these fingers will carry the egg down and then they'll come off on the transfer plate onto your cross collection to either your packer or to your processing machine in the plant. In addition to the collector, we have manure drives at the back of the house to run these belts, particularly the large wide belts that are specially designed to keep the belt centered. And we have very little problem uh, with belts moving sideways, uh, losing grip on them, and we also use one direct drive motor for every belt. So you don't find a chain back there where three different belts are chained to a larger motor to save money because manure tends to eventually rust and bind chains. Uh, the motors are attached by four bolts, so if uh, you have any issues, you can easily remove motor from one belt, put it on another belt, and run the manure out so that you don't have any excess buildup of manure and in turn um, too much weight on the belt or not get it out in five days and all of a sudden you start having fly issues in the house. There's also other things as far as the overall house design that Valco offers. Uh, we can look at it and say, well, you need more feed. We put another loop of feed on the top. You need more perch. We run some perch on the wall. Um, you know, floor space, sometimes we'll use a larger nest in certain aviaries where the top of the nest counts for floor space and we can pick up a few more birds there. And we offer our aviaries both in regular and plus sizes. And that means an existing facility, we can maximize the number of birds by getting the balance right between floor space, nest space, feeder space, water nipples per bird, and, and the, you know, the scratch area that you have to have. Um, when we put these systems together, definitely recommend two rows of lights underneath because you want to keep it bright, you don't want floor eggs. Um, that, that's the hardest thing to manage and the, the key to that is walking the house when you 
first put your birds in for three or four weeks. Um, just keep your birds moving. Keep them walking. If you see any eggs, get them up so that they don't start thinking that's a place to lay eggs. Um, if, if you have that egg and you either can carry a basket or you can simply put a mark on it. If your machine will pick it out, just put a pencil X or a something on it, edible X, and, and all of a sudden your machine should pick it out as an undergrade and save you bringing it into the plant. Um, Valco wants to be your partner and we offer, in addition to the aviaries, we offer a full ventilation package from fans, the circulating hemisphere fans, to cooling systems so that we can take care of everything you need in the way of equipment in that house. We offer Petraco controllers, which means you now have the ability with an iPhone to be all sight and know what's going on and change what's going on in your house. Uh, we have counters. We, we can match whatever level of management control you want, whether remote or on site with these houses. You know, v Valco also wants to be your partner and to that end, we will provide whatever supervision you want when it comes to doing the project. You tell us what level, how many weeks of supervision you want and, and we're prepared to deliver on site supervision. But even above and beyond that, we're gonna commission the house, we're gonna make sure everything works and we're going to be there when the birds go in to help you manage the birds if, if you haven't before or if you'd like the assistance because there's a lot of things that will make the house um, operate more efficiently. Things like extended uh, periods as you step the lights down, you know, you, you'll find birds moving, birds moving, birds, oh, a lot of birds are moving. Hold that particular segment of light an extra. 10 minutes and all of a sudden you'll find all your birds have moved, pretty well moved up off the floor. You can't do it in equal steps. Um, you know, you gotta walk the house. You got, there's just so many things that have to be done. But at the end of the day, you want the birds to flow through the house. And even as they flow through it, you want the circulation and the ventilation to keep your temperatures uniform. And you want your eggs in the nest. And Above all things, if that egg's not in the nest, it's a problem. It's a problem for management. It's a problem for income because it's a, it's a floor egg. You're not gonna get the same money. So you need the egg in the nest and you need the house to flow. And Valco would like to be your partner in the project that you're looking at. Thank you.